You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing predictions for the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view. Yeah. All yeah. right. So uh, this is a SmackDown exclusive pay-per-view. It is. All right. So uh, let's get started with the uh, announced pre-show match, which yeah. is going to be uh, Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin versus the Hype Bros. Yep. All right, mm-hmm. so the last time we saw the Hype Bros, yes. they were complaining about never being <clears throat> able to get a win. Yes. And Mojo not liking the direction they were going in. Yes. Who did they face last week? Shelton Benjamin and Chad Gable. <laughs> and they got destroyed. Yeah, uh, they did. So uh, this I... means they're going to lose again, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. As long as we're on the same page. Yeah, I don't see them winning. I see this being some sort of inadvertent hit that maybe finally puts the nail in the coffin of the hype pro team um i think they're gonna lose and then zach Ryder's just gonna <clears throat> beat up mojo yeah that's it makes sense mojo's gonna get pinned and then Ryder's gonna beat him up if there's gonna be hail turn yeah which would make sense yeah it doesn't I, make sense to n- put this on the card and not have anything come from it you mm-hmm. know yeah so uh all right so up next is the match that we think is going to open the show i would assume so bobby Roode versus Dolph ziggler mm-hmm. entrance versus technique if whatever you want to call it um, um so does it make any sense to bring up your former nxt champion and have him lose his uh first pay-per-view match there's no better way to um to make someone look good by have them beat the best in the ring yeah right yeah. makes sense mm-hmm. that's what dolph's been saying yeah so there's no so, better way to make bobby Roode look better than to beat dolph ziggler which yep. is probably what's gonna happen that's what i'm saying so we're both going with bobby Roode. booby Roode. booby Roode. um I, it's still so funny that the wwe actually put up a video <laughs> that said that every time i see the name i always think about it so, so where, where does dolph go from here um i don't know unemployment line I, there's a chance he's like planning to leave because supposedly his contract's up in october yeah so this month so like they said okay can you put one more person over before you go yeah and you know it's just it. well he does what stand-up comedy, comedy on the side or something yeah. like that so, so maybe that's his new thing thing yeah exactly he's done with the wrestling thing who knows well i mean you can't blame him well especially the way that things have been going oh absolutely because basically the way it is now is like it's either good or it's not yeah and i mean he's at the point in his career where he doesn't need to be a team player you know for the company and just kind of hang around just to put guys over i mean he's not you know john cena or randy orton in that you know Dude, he's not gonna get cheered no matter what yeah there's so. oh yeah we did get cm punk chance too yes again. that was during the Dolph segment Dol- mm-hmm. yeah but yeah it, who knows but mm-hmm. i i think that there's a good chance that he actually does leave yeah but i miss him because i like Dolph Ziggler. he's good I, but he's good in the ring he just doesn't have any direction it's just in terms that, of the stories. character development for him has just been so bad yeah it's not even the character development it's the booking you get well, put in crappy stuff. Well, yeah, exactly. Well, it's what they've given his character. But his character hasn't been bad. He knows what he is. He's a jerk. No, that's true. So, it, But it, his heel stuff took forever to get him over as a heel. And I don't even think it really did get him over as a heel. Well, not this time. The Just first previous? time Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, but this time, not so much. Oh, that stupid handicap match against my buddy Kalisto and yeah it's it's just it's hard to take or think a guy's a heel when he has the american flag on his pants Mm -hmm. because that's what he was wearing for a while at least he'll probably be wearing it on sunday probably so all right so up next is uh the first hell in a cell match yeah the new day versus the usos inside hell in a cell yeah well i think we both agree that this is going to be the match of the night most likely absolutely wrestling terms anyway well you know there could be some spectacle in a different match later on that's true <laughs> you're booking on that mm-hmm. um, um yeah I, I i don't see the new day losing the titles but i don't know yeah I, yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna say the new day i'm gonna also go with the new day um i think that 
there it's just well supposedly Vince wanted them to be the best tag team right. ever and yeah so they wanted to keep the dropping most... the titles picking them back up yeah, yeah which is really stupid um I think that they're gonna hold off the only reason why I think the Usos could win is because of the whole Usos penitentiary thing and they could have bragging rights yeah. moving forward and blah 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 but I don't like that so I'm gonna just assume that it's not gonna happen yeah and then, not like you said, I would assume Gable and Benjamin will eventually move up into... Yeah, they'll probably the feud game. with whoever wins. Yeah. That'd be my guess. But yeah, turning them heel would be all right. I mean, it's just, I don't know, it's just weird. Like, why would Shelton Benjamin come back just to, you know, be in a tag team? I mean, he is oh. later in his career, but... Yeah, I mean, that is true. That part doesn't weird. make a whole like, lot of sense, but, you know, whatever. Maybe they'll be the ones to turn on each other. That would make more sense. <laughs> Chad Gable goes heel yeah. and attacks Sean Benjamin. All the things they're supposed to be doing with Jason Jordan, and they're going to do it to Chad oh, Gable. Oh, man. <laughs> I, like I said, they, I think that Chad Gable has much better, much much more potential than Jason Jordan yeah. So. Oh, yeah, 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 in the spotlight, it's just, yeah. Yep. Um, all right, so up next is uh, Charlotte versus Natalia for mm-hmm. the women's title. Yep. Um, I think we both, again, have the same thought that Charlotte's going to Pick up the W here. Yep. This was WWE making Natalia a placeholder so they didn't have to drop the title from a face to a face. Yeah. Well, also, uh, I think Charlotte was off TV for a little yeah, while. Yeah, with everything that happened with her dad. And then yeah. she was off TV anyway for a little while. Yeah. So we're both going with Charlotte. Charlotte, yes. And then, yeah, like you said, Natalia looked strong the week before. Or the... It's not correct. I know. <laughs> I, I can never spell this name right. Charlotte. Yeah. You could have just checked my notes, you know. No. Whatever. Whatever. Um, yeah. I don't know. This, this women's division. It's a killer. It's funny because it should be good. But it just I feel like the storytelling so bad. Well, I mean, you got this. You got Becky doing nothing. You at least have Carmella with the money in the bank, so you can use that in any yeah, that, situation. That has been probably the yeah. bright spot of the women's division. And then you position. still have Tamina and Lana doing God knows what. It, that has were potential they on TV as well. Last week, I feel like they were. Yeah, there was some kind of women's tag match that they were involved in. I thought. Were they? I could be wrong. Yeah, I, I'm trying I, to remember. Yeah, because um, I figured they were going to put them on this week, but I guess not. Yeah, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, so uh, let's just move on. Okay. Baron Corbin versus AJ Styles for the United States Championship. This is a tough one because I don't know what their next direction for AJ is. Uh huh. So what you think that? Well, if AJ is planning on moving up into the world title picture or something like that. Mm then it would make sense for him to drop the title. To Baron? To Baron. And also, they, they've they been talking a lot about cutting corners, mm-hmm. so there's a chance that he's able to figure out a way to cut corners Yeah. and pick up the win. It's true. Yeah, I guess I'm going to pick Gorbin. All right. I'm going to go with AJ. Sure. I just, I don't, I don't know. I think that... You wanted me to pick Corbin, so you yes, pick I did. AJ. So. I wanted some kind of difference. Um, but I, I think that AJ, there's, I, I, I don't think the immediate plan is to put AJ with, um, gender. No. So I think they're just going to hold him with the title for at least a little while longer. Yeah, it makes sense, but. I think they like the fact that AJ has the U.S. title. Yeah. I think that's more than anything because they feel confident with him with it. No, it makes sense. So, so just. I just picked Corbin to be different, too. Very good. All right, so up next we have the WWE title, uh, Shinsuke Nakamura versus Jinder Mahal. Um, well, the only other thing that would make sense, like we talked about on the SmackDown review, that the WWE will be going to India in December, mm-hmm. is that if Jinder drops the title here and then picks it back up in India. That would make sense. So you think that he's going to... It's possible. I mean, what's... They, they... 
They did. It's not the same. Well, it's not. Shinsuke won it in Japan from Joe. Remember that? Yeah, I was gonna say that's yeah. very similar. So yeah, that would make sense. Yeah. Um. So what do you think? I, I don't know if they have the faith in Shinsuke, but I guess if it's just a placeholder, it's true. That's yeah. what it would be. Yeah. So. Yeah. So Shinsuke, sure. All right. Maybe I'm gonna. I was gonna go with Jinder. Um, well, because like I said, it's either one of two things: either Ginger's going to hold the title while they go into or India, he's gonna or he's going to win it in, back in India. Yeah. So, I like your thought, but <clears throat> I'm still going to go with Ginger. Hopefully, they're not like Impact and pay their fans to come to uh, the India event, right? I think it's that so happened. Funny. <laughs> oh man! Oh, did you see what they've been doing now? What they put another one of those amped anthologies up, and now they're promoting Shelton Benjamin. Because remember, they had like Bobby Roode and stuff like that and the GFW um, no. anthology. Well, they had videos. It was like, I don't know when it was taped, maybe a couple of years back. Like, uh-huh. TJ Perkins was in and a couple other guys, but they were promoting it as if it was like pretty relevant. Uh-huh. And I guess Shelton Benjamin was in the newest video they released. Yeah. I mean, I don't get it. I mean, I, obviously, it's an anthology, so it's happened before, mm-hmm. but most people are going to see it and be confused yeah it's true but at the same time people don't really care if other people aren't gonna understand no so whatever all right so uh, up next so we got randy orton versus rusev a rematch from SummerSlam. yeah um i mean orton should put over rusev there's no reason for him not to yeah and that's what we figured was going to happen at SummerSlam. he well because why have orton squash him just to, in return, get squashed. And now there's another match. Now, I guess this isn't going to be... It's going to be like a more competitive match, but they really haven't built a story of, like, two people who are on even footing. Yeah. It's, okay, Rusev... Gets the win over the other one quick. Yeah, yeah. That's what it was. It's more of Rusev knows that he can't beat Orton. Right. But he's going to try anyway. Yeah. So, I uh, or uh, Russo is a huge underdog in this match, at least how they've been booking it on TV. Mm-hmm. He only got the win because it was a lucky win. Yeah. So, well, and technically, Aiden English got involved. He aided him. So, I don't know. I I don't like I don't like the flow of this story to begin yeah. with. So I don't think there's any kind no. of obvious choice. I'll pick Russo. All right, I'm gonna go with Orton then. Well, I guess, you know, like, I think we spoke about this before. If AJ does hold the U.S. title, him and Rusev could have a program together. It's true. And then that way you could drop the title to Rusev mm-hmm. and AJ could move up then, possibly. Yep. So that might make sense. It's true. And winning over Orton would give uh, Rusev some right credibility. Yeah, exactly. So. And then you figure what the hell's Corbin going to do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there's so oh, maybe him and rude could go on to some that would make sense they're kind of on near equal footing yeah. right now um all right so up next is what we're assuming is going to be the main event it's been the only thing that's been built up to be the main event but then again true. like we said cena and reigns was built up and you knew it wasn't going to be the main event but i had yeah. thought it was going to be um but. anyway uh, Shane McMahon versus Kevin Owens inside Hell in a Cell. You know what? Before we get into this, now if they think it's going to be some crazy spot that Shane's going to take to end the match and something could possibly go wrong, do you think maybe they wouldn't put this on last? But to like to avoid having the last right. moment yeah. of the pay per view be that. Mm-hmm. That would be a reason. Yeah. For them to not, not put do it, it on. I'm just thinking. But because him. The Undertaker and Shane didn't main no. event, no. But at the same time, you would think that um, maybe they want something memorable to I end guess the that's pay-per-view true. at the same... And it's not going to be Shinsuke and... Oh, no, no. Oh, yeah, that that won't be considered memorable. Yeah. So... Yeah. I, I think that this is the safe bet. Yeah, fair enough. I'm just trying to throw something in there. Yeah, um... So, obviously, Shane shouldn't go over here. No, but it's Owens has had the upper hand every single time. That's the weird part. That's what makes this painful. Yeah, but I mean, what would be the <laughs> and, point at all of Shane winning this match? Yeah, remember when he, him and Daniel Bryan used to say that 
SmackDown's for wrestlers, yeah. not for <laughs> the authority yeah. to get involved. Yeah, and and this now is the second Shane... match where the authority has gotten involved this year. Yeah, so I don't know. <sighs> you got to think Owens is going to win. He has to win. Yeah, but it's like if if this Unless is. You have... Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to Triple I'm... H come in and. I don't think there's going to be any outside involvement here. But the what, Volks count anywhere match. It doesn't matter. I, I think that that's probably just going to lead to it being somewhere else. That The Sami Zayn idea make, would make more sense than anything. Yeah, to have him turn heel on Shane. Yeah. So um, are we going to get Shane McMahon and Sami Zayn next? No, but... <laughs> just an alliance between the two of them? and Yeah, because that would be a cool team. Kevin Owens and heel yeah. Sami Zayn. Oh, I Something. agree. Yeah. And they could fight the New Day. Go after the tag team. Mm-hmm. Or go on Raw and... Face the shield. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, is this going to be like a one-off thing with the shield? or? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, well, it's... we have time to yeah, get into that. That's true. Um, but with with the Kevin Owens and Shane McMahon, there's no end game here. There's a grudge match that's that it. should end at mm-hmm. the end of this match. Right. But you're not going to get like the outcome of AJ and and Shane, where you know there was a handshake the next yeah. night and stuff like that. <laughs> but yeah, this has to be leading to something. Um, like I think you mentioned earlier Unless that Shane wins and tells Kevin he doesn't want him to be on his show anymore. And remove, yeah, I th- him to Raw. there's a good chance that that could be the outcome, regardless right. of. But does this create a storyline where Owens? gets some kind of backing from like triple h and goes after shane or something yeah. i don't know it's hard to say yeah they haven't really they haven't really hinted on a future plan no which well, is sometimes but that's they, that's what the problem is with all this monthly to monthly pay-per-view thing it's like you do one thing and it's over sometimes yeah. you go to the next pay-per-view something else next you know or they'll do the same exact thing over and over again right where they don't really try to spruce it up at all. No. But, yeah, I don't know. Eh, hopefully it's a decent pay-per-view. Yeah. Like I said, I'm looking forward to at least the two Hell in a Cell matches. Mm-hmm. Um, Charlotte and Natalia should be good. I would say so. Um, I, Like, since we both think that Charlotte's going to go over, I would hope that they both look good. And Yeah. <laughs> And Charlotte was meant to look weak, I guess, maybe to preserve Becky. Maybe, because I would assume we're going to get that eventually as well. Yeah. So. Which is, would be fantastic. Mm-hmm. So I guess maybe that's that was the plan, that you can let Charlotte eat the pin now, mm-hmm. or eat the, or tap out when, yeah. you know, she's well, she also lost to Becky when they had the match, too. Charlotte. Um, the, It was just a regular match, yeah, right? Yeah, it was just one-on-one. Yeah. So that could be the plan, because yeah. I know that SmackDown's very, or they're very high on Becky Lynch as well, mm-hmm. but I think... Just they haven't had anything for her to do. I think it's more of it. Um, they wanted to get the title on Charlotte at least once. Once, yeah. And as soon as possible, and this is the first real opportunity because they wanted to r- ride the the uh, the glow because they saw that Naomi was getting hot, mm-hmm. so they wanted to get the title yeah. on her no, for a absolutely. while. Yeah, absolutely. So, which, yeah. Sucks for Becky, but, you know, it makes sense. Yeah. I would assume she'll be back at it absolutely in the near future uh-huh. but uh yeah so this was our preview and predictions yeah for hell in a cell there's a very good chance we could be wrong on everything it's that's true. usually what happens mm-hmm. so uh but yeah. yeah if you liked what you saw here please like share and subscribe bye bye